One pair of Ray-Bans, made in partnership with Facebook. Two, basically hidden cameras. So many people who don't know you're recording them. Would you have known I was recording you with these sunglasses? Me? Yeah. Why were you recording Because these sunglasses have a camera in it. This what? is a terrible idea. Did you know I was recording you? No, I had no idea. I would not have known because it says ray -Bans. Now, before you start calling me a total creeper, let's talk about these shades and why I've been recording random people. These are not your old Tom Cruise Ray-Ban Wayfarer glasses, although some might say they're risky business. These are Ray-Ban Stories, a $299 pair of high-tech glasses made with Facebook. Tap here and this five megapixel camera records video of whatever you're looking at. This small LED light is supposed to signal to people you're recording. The idea of camera equipped glasses, definitely not new. There was Google Glass, which didn't go so well. They don't work anymore. And more recently, Snapchat Spectacles. Similar to those, these are meant to let you put down your smartphone and record without looking at a screen. But here is what's new. Super cool, classic looking sunglasses with high quality cameras and microphones. Most don't notice that tiny little recording light and don't think twice when you're wearing these glasses. They basically just think, you look awesome. Which could basically make these spy glasses. So I devised my own little social experiment this week. Talked to as many people as I could and see if they knew I was recording. Some thought they were creepy. Me. <laughs> Others thought they were cool. Recording you right now. And yes, I told people I was recording quickly after hitting the button and got everyone's permission to use their footage in this video. Let's start with the cool and how these work. Tap once on this button and you begin recording video. Video is cut off after 30 seconds, since yes, these were designed for Facebook and Instagram stories. Long press and you can snap a photo. That's where the second camera comes in. It gathers depth information, so you can apply these fun effects to photos afterwards. You can also say, Hey Facebook. Take a picture. The quality isn't exactly what you'd get with the latest iPhone, but it's not bad for sharing. But why would you want any of this? Well, these are actually really fun and useful in those situations where you don't wanna just take your phone out. Plus the first person point of view is just awesome. Whoa! Oh yeah, Facebook specifically says don't drive with these on. And yeah, they're not waterproof either. Those photos and videos are stored to four gigabytes of storage in the glasses, but they also sync with a new app called Facebook View. They don't automatically go to Facebook or Instagram. In the View app, you can download them to your phone and easily share them to any place you'd like. Facebook says none of the photos in the app are used for personalized ads. Only if you share them do the app's terms apply. There are also speakers in here, so you can listen to music or take calls when paired with your phone. What do you mean you're calling from your glasses? You now have a phone in your glasses? Well, I, they're just regular sunglasses, but with cameras and microphones. Now, the coolness is almost the reason they're so creepy. No one expects when you're wearing these that you've got two cameras on your face. Plus, the LED indicator is very small. I'm talking somewhere between the size of a poppy seed and a sesame seed. Plain. Very dry. Very, very dry. Unlike the big indicators on the Snapchat spectacles, people just don't notice it. And outdoors, the light is even harder to see. What's impossible? To know that you're recording. To know that I'm recording you right now? Yes. Can you see now? I can yes. see. I, can see. I wouldn't have known, but there's like a cam that little white dot is a camera. Facebook says this gesture of bringing your hand up to your temple to record is another signal to people that you're recording but lots of people didn't pick up on that either. And when you set up your stories, the View app suggests that you do a demo for people to let them know how the capture LED works. The company also says that the 30 second recording limit is another privacy measure to ensure people aren't being recorded at length without their knowledge. Still, they should have made this indicator bigger and maybe red or green. I'm not saying they needed to put something the size of this on there, but something that was at least noticeable. So what did I learn here from this non-scientific social experiment? 
Years ago, it was hard to imagine smartphones with cameras everywhere, but we eventually learned that this meant someone was recording. Now, the miniaturization of technology into sleek looking glasses is coming. These Ray-Bans are just the start. But with that, we at the very least need a bigger indicator that these aren't just classic sunglasses, but cameras capable of recording everyone we meet. And yes, nice lady I met in the park, I do work for the FBI. 